guys and girls and fellow gamers, this is Games for Cakes, and welcome to the zombie infested world of Seven Days to Die. So, this nice morning, I want to show you a little bit of what I did. I'm not going to show you everything because I'm going to do a little flyby later. I put some trees in from the creative menu um, in a way that I think it looks nice ish. I didn't want the big trees. I put some bushes down as well. There will be more bushes down there. So, anyway, without further ado. Let's get started. So, I think what I want to do is I want to have the cemetery go along here. And I want to have the gate entrance kind of here. So, if we stick with this width. So, let me see. One, two. There we go. And one, two. So... I want to have... Uh, will we make two more? I think that would be okay. And then we can build on top and on top. And then we can build a little arc, I suppose. It would be kind of better, though, if we could have the arc with a little bit extra. So say we have it here. And then go down to here. I think that's what we we have to do. Yeah, otherwise I'm not going to be happy with the way the arc works out. Yeah, that actually works nice as well. Nice. Okay, so the idea is to have uh, a wall all around with um, the high parts in the corners. There we go. And then we're going to put this fence. Yeah, we need more than that. Yeah, that's going to be enough. And, well, it's going to be enough to start with. So the idea is to put the nice fencing around. I do like that fence. Whoever told me that again in the comments, absolutely awesome. Really, really, really liked it. So this is from the creative menu, the bushes and, you know, some stuff. So, um... Yeah, so I think I want to have it like this. Oh. Is that... Oh, that's not in the middle. Can that go in the middle? No. Oh, interesting. Well, in that case, I want it outside. Yeah, in that case, I want it outside like that. And maybe we're going to have another one in the middle. One, two, three. And then we have one, two, three, and then four. And yeah, excellent. There we go. Kind of want to get the outlines done. Okay, we have to put another fence here. There we go. That looks nice. Yeah, that would, that, that's going to look okay. And we're going to do, do it the other way around here. One, two, three, four. One. And then... Uh, let's make another few of those. I don't know why I bring the windows with me all the time. Actually, I'm probably going to be better off doing one of my temporary chests and dump everything into there. So let's put it... Um, let's put a wood frame down here. Let's put the chest on top. And let's put this stuff in here, because I don't really need this right now. And that way we have a little bit more room to maneuver with. There we go. I don't need the wood blocks. We may need the concrete. I have I have an idea for that. But I don't know if there is enough room to do what I want to do. Okay, so we probably need more steps. We'll see. Come on. Yes, there we go. Okay. Ooh. Uh, let's might as well do this side. Uh, 
Ah, crap. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, and five. So this one here is the one that has to go. Oh, that was quick. Sweet. And in the back here, three, three, and we do something there as well, I think. Yeah, we'll see. We're not closing it just yet. Okay, so the idea is to basically have it like this and then put maybe um, a statue there on top and we we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, I think. So let's get started and start putting the cobblestone down. Okay, so now I'm trying to get the ramp done, but I forget the cobblestone ramp doesn't really exist. It does, but it's crap. So um, I have used from the creative menu some coffins because I never added that custom recipe. Um, I put some headstones in there, something like that, you know. Then um, let me see. We want the cobblestone here. And then we want probably wood. Here, just so we can build um, the top. Now, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use concrete full stop. And uh, that way it doesn't look too odd. So let's use concrete here. And let's use concrete here, another one here, and another one there. And now, 
Let's put the ramp. Which way around is it? I can't see. This is really something they're going to have to fix. It irritates the shit out of me. That you have to go to some dark area to see which point it's facing. It's absolutely irritating. So, I mean, uh, oh man, I could have another rant about this now. It is so time-consumingly stupid because you, you waste so much time trying to fix this shit. Okay, so. And I think... There. Yeah, okay. Cool. Cool. Now, we have to close it up, so we need another ramp. It only makes six ramps, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, now let's put the... Let's just not walk on it. Okay, there we go. Okay, now take that out. That's it. There we go. Okay, so that is the the gate entrance. I just wanted to have it a bit bigger, a bit that you can walk through it big time. Now in the back here, I kind of it's a bit stupid that I dug actually that grave to be honest, because in the back here, what I wanted to do was um, let's see if we can just build over it. Nobody's gonna see it anyway. Um. Let's take the pickaxe. Upgrade these. Excuse me. Little sneeze. Okay. I'm gonna have a window here. Now, the ground. This is the interesting part. Okay. Excellent. So where's the concrete? So we have the concrete here. And I think this is enough space. Yes. Now let's take the wood frames. Now it's getting a bit dark. Um, come on. Actually, I should have probably uh, left this one there. Yeah. Okay. Now. It's the last thing I'm going to do. Cobblestone stairs. go 
Now this is getting very dark, so I'm gonna do that a little bit off camera just to get this started and then I'll show you then in the next episode in the beginning I will show you what that looks like because I'm gonna connect it with the other underground path and that's the idea behind that. So I only just thought of that because I thought wouldn't it be great to have like a little hidden A shack is a little hidden um, entrance. That would be brilliant. There we go. And we need some more wood. There we go. Now, I'm going to finish this um, for the next episode, and in the next episode we're not going to work on this. I'm just going to do that off camera and going to show you kind of what it looks like when it's finished. But what we are going to do uh, now is I want to show you what my area looks like. Actually, let's just finish fixing that. I don't want it to look half-assed. <sighs> <laughs> That's how you can get things done as well. Yeah, there we go. At least here we have a little... It's like a little tool shed. Sorry I don't have a nail gun. I think I have one, I just don't know where it is. I have no idea where I left it. If I had it. But I think I found one when I was in snow biome. For some reason that rings a bell. And... Oh, come on. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so, now let's put this out. Let's show you what this uh, looks like. This is like. the monastery, this is where they had the prayers and uh, played poker and sacrificed human beings in the basement, you know, to fight the zombie apocalypse. They lived here, the trees are nicely there, and I think this is actually not bad at all, I would say. Not bad at all. What do you think? You let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know I can't reply to your comments for the for the next eight days probably, or nine days, but leave comments anyway. And remember to hit me up on Facebook or Twitter if you want to have a talk, if you want to want me to be able to reply. Um, actually, you should be doing going to Twitter anyway and join me there on Twitter and uh, join me on Facebook. You know, do the likes and the follows. So, all right, excellent. So look what we did. This is brilliant. All because of your ideas. I mean, most of these things are your ideas, you know, so I just started things and then they evolved from there. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, kick the like button in the arse like the gaming ninjas you are. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, join the G4K Ninja Army. Ninjas? Ninja Army? You know what, you can call it whatever you want. Just hit that subscribe button and join us in the endless effort of becoming gaming ninjas. And I hope you join me in the next episode. Until then, Spaß and happy gaming.